I'm Pete Bennett, and you're watching Big Bennett TV. What's up, guys? So, today, if you can see over there, in that nice soggy box, uh, in that empty space over there in the corner, we're going to be setting up a nice storage garage storage I don't know tarp garage whatever you want to call it um, because it's fall right now the winter's upon us and we need some good storage for all those cars vehicles and stuff and if you guys are thinking about getting a garage tarp storage uh, this is it right here it's a 12 foot by 20 times 8 garage in a box so this is probably going to be cheaper than storage fees, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. The only thing I am worried about is uh, it blowing away. So we're going to try and anchor it down really good because everybody's garage tarps uh, blow away. So I'm going to get this set up. It's been sitting out here for, I'd say, about two months. Uh, I've been wanting to do it, but just with the busy schedule, uh, going to the States, all that stuff. Haven't really had time to uh, set aside to do that. So we'll get that started. And if you guys are wondering about getting one, I picked this up, uh, I think under 500 bucks at Canadian Tire. So it's, it's probably worth it. I know, I know a lot of storage places for cars and stuff, probably charge about a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks and up for the same amount of storage which is just to keep the snow off, just keep the rain off, all that stuff. So, I mean, you get probably three years out of this garage, you'll pay for the storage fees. The only uh, issue is we've got to set it up. So, I'll set it up a little bit, I'll get everything unboxed, and we'll take a look at it. Wow, guys, so great start to uh, unboxing this. I rolled out that. Um, as you can see, the box is not damaged from, like, me cutting it or anything like that. I just cut off those little strips, and... I found this already out the box torn and then also right here this one's torn as well and and also I think yep he's here Polly Hammond is here but yeah, we got most of it out of the box. This is what it looks like when you uh, open it up. And as you can see, it's been so long that I haven't opened it. It's starting to grow mold. But uh, you get a big bag of, of hardware, this. You even get a ground stake so it stays in the ground. So we'll get more uh, more set up on it. And it should, it should be a quick install. The instructions say it takes about an hour. Uh, if you're not experienced like me, it might take an hour and five minutes. All right, guys. So it's been a couple days since I started setting it up. Ran into some complications. Me and Paul, we got ready. We got it up 50% of what we could do. And uh, it just got too dark. So we had to shut her down. That night, uh, there was a lot of wind gust all that stuff had to put production on hold because it was just windy raining just wasn't a good atmosphere to uh set up set up the rest of the garage tarp tent but i'll show you guys what i did uh pretty much as you can see here i had some ropes i had some ropes set up pretty much so that i could tie down the shelter i had it running from the pole the fence and even back here I took it off now cuz uh, it's up guys long wait it's up probably took I don't know couple end of a couple days Paul one day as you saw and then my girlfriend helped me out the next day and then after that I did one more got it all set up so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the outside so pretty much it's set up like this. It's got the drapes, so uh, you can't get any uh, can't get any animals underneath. I mean, unless they're really trying and digging and all that good stuff. So I got 
It's got ratchet straps that come to the bottom here and pretty much pulls this tight. So it's not really hooked onto any poles or slid through any poles. It's just ratchet strapped on. And uh, see it's the shelter logic. And those right there are, uh, these are strings here. If I want to uh, unzip it and then roll it up and then tie that so I can have the door open. Uh, we can do that, but I'm gonna open it up. And uh, you guys can pretty much see, we got this set up in here. We got pallets, pallets galore. Because I'm uh, not 100% sure on the storage contents, but we wanna keep it above, above the grass as much as we possibly can. These pallets are gonna do so. Also, uh, I noticed too, is while I was getting it put up, if you can see that, that's a hole. So, I mean, just just from not having it fully set up to having it sit partially set up, it got tore. So I don't know how long this is gonna last. Also, there's another one down here, if you can see. Look at that. This has probably been up for like, three days and it's already got that so it's not looking too good uh, shelter logic I if you're watching this I don't know what to say but uh, yeah as you can see all these here wraps around this one pole and everything else is pretty straightforward around it and then pretty much there's anchors here that go into the ground right there with the cable that goes onto the pole. So it's not gonna blow away. Or within theory, it's not supposed to blow away. But what do you guys think of this? Is the big thing, is, is layering it with pallets. Do you think it's a good idea? Um, if you guys have them, what did you use for it? Or did you put it on pave, gravel? Uh, those were a couple options. We were gonna put the tarp down, but we chose, we might just put the part, the tarp on top of the pallets. We're not 100% sure yet. Uh, we're still hammering out the ins and odds. And also we don't even have it fully uh, fastened. Like as you can see this here, pretty much isn't even all the way in. We gotta get some longer hardware because uh, Shelter Logic supplied us with some economical uh, bolts, nuts, that stuff that you want to say. And quite frankly, the roof, it's its its collecting a little bit of uh, water. It's not tight like I thought it would be. Like I really liked it to be a little bit more tighter like I've seen other people's, but I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. Let me know what you guys think from, from the video. The video pretty much speaks speaks its quality. I mean, it's it's not the quality isn't there, but for the price, you can't argue with the price. Uh, I don't even know the price anymore, but it was definitely cheaper than buying a pre-built shed or a garage or anything like that. I, I project this to last maybe max two years. If we get two years out of it, we'll be pretty happy. But uh, overall, that's what it is. I probably, probably took, honestly guys, it took about six hours for me to do. So, six hours, you got the tarp. I'm gonna get a little view back here. It's, uh, this is the 12 by eight one. So, and also I had, I was using a propane tank to anchor it down cause uh, before I used the rope and I was using the lawnmower for the other corner right there, I was putting it on that corner and uh, it still, it kind of wanted to blow away. So there you guys have it. If you guys have a different style garage that you're thinking about getting, leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to see what you guys are getting. Uh, this is my first time installing it. If I had my time back, would I buy another one of these? I probably wouldn't. 
I probably go with like a, a plastic shed because it's a little bit more durable. It's a little bit more smaller, but I think in the long run it would last and I'd, I'd save more money. But this one I haven't put it through the test. Winter's coming up on us. Probably give it a month and a half, two months. We're gonna have some winter, so we'll see how it lasts and uh, we'll take it from there. But overall, that's the Shelter Logic 8x12. If you guys are putting one up, I suggest you wait for a nice sunny day or clear day, not windy. Try and do it all in one sitting or you're gonna have problems. If if you do if you do it like I did, half, and then waited, you never know what the, the forecast is gonna be. So guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you coming with me to set it up. I'm, I'm sorry that I couldn't film this all in one time. Like I said, it got super dark, couldn't film. Next day, windy, just, uh, a chain of events happened but finally we got it up finally we got it done and here it is you guys want to see more make sure you subscribe to the channel i am always doing things like this i always got adventures and also if you if you want to maybe uh give me some some feedback on what i can do to make this better comment down below i'm always looking for it so thanks for watching guys take care see you next week new video next week Peace.